Hey there, Sharif from Mashima Living here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a delicious pate from one of the cheapest, healthiest, most underrated superfoods on the planet, sardines. So stay tuned. So I'm in Sicily on holiday at the moment, so I'm using some beautiful Mediterranean Sicilian flavors in this sardine recipe, but a little disclaimer, I don't want to offend any Sicilians or food snobs. I have made this recipe up. It's, it's definitely not a traditional Sicilian sardine recipe, but it tastes good anyway. Sardines, but this is no Siciliano. Anyway, most people think of salmon as the uber healthy omega-3 rich fish, but pound for pound sardines have the same amount of omega-3 as salmon with the added benefits that they're cheaper, they're environmentally sustainable and they're much lower in toxic heavy metals like mercury. Plus if you eat the canned variety with the bones still in, they're an excellent source of calcium as well. And don't worry if you think sardines taste really fishy, in this recipe with these ingredients it doesn't taste fishy at all. So let me show you what we've got here. We've got our sardines in olive oil, some sun-dried tomatoes, some beautiful black olives, capers which are optional, fresh tomato, red onion, fresh garlic, lemon for lemon juice, oregano and of course our extra virgin olive oil. So look, don't worry about trying to jot all of, this, all of this down. I've got the full recipe with the exact quantities written out all nice and neat on my blog. So you can click the link in the video or below the video to grab that straight away. So all we do now is chuck everything in the blender. It's super easy. And then we just squeeze the juice of about half a lemon. Just be careful not to get any seeds in there because it'll taste really bitter. And now we just whiz everything up. And voila, Sicilian sardine pate. So I think it's quite salty enough from the olives and the sun-dried tomatoes, but you can always add a bit more salt at this stage if you want to. And I just like to eat it with veggie sticks or wrapped in lettuce, um, but you can eat it how you like. So that's my Sicilian inspired sardine pate. As I said before, if you want the full recipe with all of the ingredients laid out nice and neat in the exact quantities, just click the link and head over to my blog where you'll find that along with a lot of other great stuff to help you feel amazing. So bye for now.